Okay. Uh, since I had such a problem capturing the um, sequence of installing uh, Windows 10 Pro, I thought I'd just try and uh, I'd redo it in a virtual machine. So um, I decided I'm using Virtual uh, Box to do this, and um, I have plugged in the USB um, stick. <laughs> and routed it to this machine configuration and to be able to boot it from to get the virtual machine to boot it boot from the USB stick then you need to enable the EFI um, BIOS support in the settings I wonder if I could actually show that just a sec here so you need to enable this if you haven't got the, this is if you create a virtual machine in VirtualBox, then this is not enabled by default, and then you, it won't do anything. It won't recognize the uh, even if you map the USB stick, it won't um, recognize yeah, yeah, the boot phase. So anyway, let's um, get started. a bit slow. Uh, so US English um, time and currency format. Swap that to Sweden. Or I, I run my Windows versions as English, you know, if I can choose Swedish. Okay. Don't have the product key. For now, you can you can put in the product key later if you have the license. But I don't intend to activate this. Um, and then this is a bit of a trick that if you're in Europe, you should basically take this one. And if you're in the US, you should take this. But uh, it basically, rem this version, um, it, it removes some multimedia functionality. But usually I, I, I install with this version. It's for the when Microsoft got fined by the European Union for antitrust violations. And then they made two re-editions of Windows 10. Okay, now we take custom, and I've got... Ah, oh, this disk configuration is not the same as what I had on the physical machine, but yeah. Basically just to take the one that one wants the other side.
So this is going to take a while to get all these files ready and stuff, so I think I will uh, pause the recording until um, that phase is done. Okay, did all the copying bit. Now it's just going to restart itself. take a while to set up the basics and pause it. <laughs> I have to deal with quite a few instances with just the moment rebooting. So, finally. Just a moment situation. Okay, so I'm like a uh, standard. In my case, it's Swedish. No, don't want to add a second one. in the mic, my extension cable holder came off the wall. So again, pause just to not have to wait for these special settings. More than just a just a moment happens. Oh look, maybe it's coming to an end. No, more just a moment. Okay, this is strange. It's asking for the region again. Why? Maybe it installed so many updates that it lost them. Try again. Of course, the problem is there's been a new edition of um, Windows 10 released after I did the physical machine on the physical machine. Don't know why it's doing that again. I'm assuming that it picked up a lot of updates and then that reset the installation. to do with this on the physical machine. Because the thing is that of course Windows is dynamic. So it, um, if you have it connected to the network when you're installing it, it'll go get updates. Okay, let's see.
my guess is that it did a, a basic install as for reach and keyboard layout. Then it went out and picked up the new edition of Windows. And then it um, reset the, um, uh, the installation two steps back and started. I had to re ask the region and the keyboard to get the new edition working. Yeah, now it seemed to go to them. Okay, well, it would be interesting. Uh, I would probably do the same trick on the physical machine also. Person use. Next. <laughs> Just ah, sign in with Microsoft. Ah, uh, yes. I think it's already signed in with my account. I don't really want to register this virtual machine on my... Ah, I mean, if you have a... Yeah, I mean, you'd have to do this individually anyway. If you have a Microsoft account, then you should just log in. I think I'll just create an offline account for now. This is personal preferences. No, not for this installation. some security questions also. Oh, another just a moment, moment. Usually I don't want this to have no experiences where it goes a bit wrong. don't use speech recognition for desktops. Yeah, location is kind of necessary if you want to, I think, because that, uh, especially if you're doing shopping searches and stuff, then it doesn't even know what city you're living in. Don't say it can use the location. No, I usually don't want to find my device, not if it's a desktop. No, no, only basic info. No, no ink, no ink input devices. No, I don't want it to tailor anything. And usually, no, I don't want any advertising ID. And then it's again just a moment, moment.
Ah, well, this isn't. No, no, it's actually installed very really quickly. But anyway, the one thing I won't be able to demo in this uh, video was the um, initialization of the data drive, and then it was the NVIDIA Experience software installation. But, so if you just skip all the um, steps of installing the OS and just look at those parts to get the, that information. Anyway, that was the re quick rerun of the OS installation. Well, it will be a little bit more informative than the bad video I was able to capture the first time around. Okay, see you in the next one.